Now we're going to take a quick look at four different modes of access control methodology called mandatory access control or MAC. We've already identified the requirements, different levels of security for even a, one single system. There are times where a single system will need to handle top secret data and secret data and classified data all on the same system. So we need to be able to specify what those different security levels are and then have mechanisms in place to ensure that we are able to maintain those levels of security. Mandatory access control is a very rigid and expensive uh, access control methodology. It t typically is used only by military and government networks because of its rigidity and its very high expense. But it is also probably the strongest access control model that we have. So now there are four modes of operation in a MAC model. First we have the dedicated security mode. This is where all the information and all the processes on a system are at the same level of security and all the subjects that will need to access those information objects are also at the same level of security. So in a dedicated security mode the system will only handle for example top secret data. As a result because all users are top secret users they have access to 100 percent of the data. That's a dedicated security mode in the mandatory access control model. Next we have the system high security mode. And as you read through those bullets, you'll notice that only the last two change. So with system high security mode, we recognize that we have different levels of security requirements for the information. That means we'll have different levels of subjects accessing those different levels of objects. And now we need to qualify what users are allowed to access which objects. So with the system high security mode, all users can access some data, but it's based on their need to know. So it's more than just they're at the same level, such as top secret. Now we have top secret and they have to be working on the Afghanistan project, for example. So they need uh, the same level of clearance, but they also have a need to know. And we might have other pieces of data that are top secret, but not related to Afghanistan. Therefore, th the first subject that I described would not be able to access that second piece of data. So, dedicated security mode, all users have the same level of access on all the information. On system high security mode, users are all at the same level of clearance, but they have different levels of need to know. And as a result, they might be prohibited from accessing some of the information. On compartmented security mode of mandatory access control, all users have the same clearance and they may have the same need to know, but they also need formal access approval. So you see we're adding another variable here, and this becomes more and more complex if you haven't noticed. So the security system on a compartmented security mode system is substantially more complex than either of the first two we described. And finally, the multi-level security mode adds one more variable. All users have the same clearance level. They all have a specific need to know, they all have the same formal access approval, and now we have different levels of clearance, all on the same system. So we have clearance, need to know, and formal access approval now pulled into this. And again, these are all variables that tie together to make this a more complex, more sophisticated, more difficult security model to implement. So to summarize, we have the dedicated security mode where all users are all at the same clearance level and they can access 100% of the information on that system. System high security mode, all users have the same clearance level but their need to know is different. Compartmented, all users have the same clearance level and have differing levels of need to know and have differing formal access approvals. And finally, in multi-level security mode, we have differing levels of clearance, differing 
uh, categories for the need to know and differing access approvals.